Marilyn? Yes. How are you? Fine, thanks, and you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for writing into the act of generosity. Um, we were quite touched by your story. We obviously vet thousands of stories every month, and obviously you all spoke very highly to us on, on this act. You have two beautifully, amazingly beautiful children. They are so sweet right now, because we gave them a nice little game to play. <laughs> <laughs> but um, your one kid's uh, name is Eckhart. Yeah. And that's your son. Yeah. I was just talking to you earlier about how unique that name is. And where did you get it from? We started googling and you know, this name came up and the meaning is like the strength of a sword okay. um, and the sword is the word. Fantastic. Yeah. And your and your two-year-old daughter is Mika. Yeah, her name means beloved. Very sweet. Yeah. Okay. The unfortunate part about, um, you know, what we came across in your story and it's very sad is that your husband died in a car accident on the 9th of June and that's quite recent. Yeah, it's two months ago. I'm very sorry to hear about your loss. I also heard that you've been put in quite a serious situation because of that. Yeah. Do you mind touching on that? A little bit to sense of. Um, yeah, the thing is, um, we were still young, so all the policies and stuff were not in place yet. We were still planning on getting that sorted out later. You don't plan on something like this happening, happening so yeah. we didn't have that credit life from the car because you think, oh, we won't die that so that soon. Then after he passed away, I, I phoned the bank, and then the bank said there's nothing they can do. They can only like take the vehicle back and then sell it on a on an auction. But then if they sell it, then there's still an amount outstanding. Oh, yeah. I will still be held liable yeah. for that amount and yeah the, I, I had to move out because I stopped working and I have to still pay the bills and everything and the rent I couldn't manage to pay the rent so yeah I had to move out of the place where we were renting and yeah my parents um, we're living at, at their house at the moment but it's in the market because they are um, going on pension at the moment they are um, in the south coast busy building that the, the the other house so the house that are in the market at the moment is part of the money that they have to put away for them to live sure. on yeah for their retirement so the, the amount owing your car is 123,000 rand at the moment yeah and, and i understand that the uif is paying out 30,000 rand towards that and before it was um 165 and then i got 40 from the uif okay. and that's that's where the 120 um five comes from because I already put the 40 down and then the amount is okay. going to come off by 40. You've been put in a predicament where unfortunately you, you're going to be without a home soon. Yeah, if the, if the place gets sold. And obviously that's going to be quite difficult for you uh, financially because to support your family you yeah. don't have work at the moment yourself. Yeah, I'm only baking from home but it's not like a big business or anything so. And you have some family support but it's not going to yeah, be sufficient not, enough. Yeah, it's not going to be enough okay. for the medical aid and all those things. You have a, is it a brother-in-law with a farm? Yes, a brother-in-law with a farm. He's given a kind gesture to help you with about 40,000 rand towards building yes. a small home a on, log home. A log yeah. home on the farm. one of those Wendy home things. Yes. The shortfall of, of that is from my understanding is about 70,000 Rand. Yeah. And, and that can be completed fairly soon. Yeah, that's without a kitchen and without cupboards and stuff. So it's just the house on the inside. But yes. yeah, we'll make a plan to get the inside done as well. Because one of my friends is an interior designer. She said um, if, if there's any projects where they have to take out old kitchens or whatever then they can yes. maybe donate that, that or donate whatever okay. yeah, so. so i think i mean let's start at where, where we thought we could help you so you know such an aspirational story that you are a single mom um a sad story not an aspirational story but i mean the fact that you have two beautiful kids you can be so proud of that part but you know we'd like to see if we can step in to help complete that home for you and see if we can pay the 70,000 Rand towards having something, you know, for you guys to have a shelter and a roof over your heads. I think my team, I'll go a little bit further to that and say that we'd like to see how we can assist you with giving you the basic needs for that place and for that home. We'd then like to say if we can try and step in and pay the 4,300 Rand towards your car payments mm -hmm. and the 1,000 Rand for some petrol to get your kids around and do certain things. So that's a contribution of about 5,300 Rand per month for that. And then we'd also like to contribute another 5,000 Rand towards helping you for your monthly bills, may that be food and certain things, electricity and whatever else you need. So that contribution stems to about 120,000 Rand for the year and we'd like to help you with the 70. So it's a total contribution of almost 200,000 Rand we'd like to give you. And I think that can just give you off your off your feet, less stressed and, and that hopefully that can help your two kids yeah, going well. forward in the next in, in the next year. How do you think this would affect your life? How would it, how would it change your life? Um, I think at this stage yeah, it, it, it makes a big difference because I, I didn't know what I was going to do with all the payments and everything. It was just too too much so I think it's definitely gonna help us it won't be so stressful even this last month of my pregnancy it takes a lot of stress from, um, from my shoulders and yeah it's gonna help me with all the um, 
expenses that I have to and if, if I need something for the kids I don't have to try and make a plan I will know I can provide for them and I never even touched on that you're actually pregnant at the moment yes <laughs> Yeah, the babies do end off. So I think that was where the contribution came towards the 5,000 rand for your unborn yeah. baby and towards your... Yeah, because they don't need much. It's just, yeah, yes, if I need that. anything for the baby. From us, a team of Active Generosity, we'd like to thank you for coming in today. You have two very beautifully active children. <laughs> Even had to play a game with them to keep uh, quiet and they struggle that one, but they're still yeah. nevertheless very beautiful kids and you can be very Thanks. proud of that. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for coming in today. Thanks. Thank you.